send it. Okay, it looks like Facebook and YouTube is on. And there we go. And we are live. <coughs> Welcome to another show of Captain Mudslinger's Neighborhood. And I actually have somebody in the neighborhood today. It's my brother-in-law. So, Tom Thomas Pinchon. <laughs> Hi. And he's full of shit. <laughs> yeah, thanks for laughing. So, finally got a, uh, a guest in the neighborhood. I'm just going to make a couple of mugs because uh, I could use a few more mugs. I was at uh, the Stillwater uh, Art Fair, the Rivertown Art Fest last weekend. And uh, I brought uh, two dozen mugs and I came back with one. So I guess I should make some more mugs. They didn't hate me. Anyway. <laughs> That's always a good thing. So, thanks for laughing. And thus it begins. Yes. Once again, this is uh, recycled clay, which means at one time it was like this. Is it Bennonite clay? Bennonite? Uh huh. I so, know. never mind. Bennonite. It's a. Was that like a Mennonite? Kind of. No, Bennon. It's a kind of clay. Uh, Best I, that I know. Uh, bentonite. Uh, that's, yes, bentonite. Yeah. Maybe yeah. it was bentonite. Yeah, I, that is easily confused. An agreement. An yeah. agreement. Yeah. It's some, something in one of my glazes. 101 bentonite. pound bags. Boy, they're heavy. They yeah. kick your ass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this should be interesting. Okay. You missed a spot. Uh huh. <laughs> So since this is recycled clay, um, I, I've i already wedged the clay, but it's kind of like wedging the clay on the wheel. What I'm going to do is bring it up into a cone, back into a hockey puck. Because see right now, see you can make different shapes, you know, and yeah. it looks like different things. Yeah. Thanks for laughing. And then I... Bring it up. Get it up. Just like that. See? See how big and tall it gets. Thanks for laughing. That nipple on the top could make anything big and tall and round like that, couldn't it? That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> anyway. So, just bring it. Oh, down. You old lech. Thanks for laughing. That's the man who loves his clay. I'm telling you. It's a special relationship we have together. <laughs> I bet. <laughs> you, you, you massage it often. I know you do. But oh, it's gosh. It's your work. That reminds me of years ago. I had some gal in the studio. I was doing pottery classes. And so I'm teaching this, trying to teach this gal how to pull a handle. And she's sitting there just going, pulling a thing like this. And she says, it's getting kind of gritty, but it's not. Anyway. <laughs> I'm sure the clay was feeling great, but... Oh, I'm sure. Thanks for laughing. It's a good thing Raquel Welch isn't on this show, huh, Johnny? Uh, thanks for laughing. All right. So, I don't know, you definitely in. got the technique, and man. I'm pulling it out. Huh. Let me check the depth. Have you actually, have you ever sat and watched me make a pot on the wheel? Yeah. I'm really something. Here and there. Oh, you're something all right. There. Just like that. So, nice smooth flat bottom. I'm going to stick my thumb underneath and just kind of draw it up. Hmm. Like that. And then back down. Just smearing it. Yeah. Thanks for laughing. <laughs> it's, it's very interesting. So I'm sticking my thumb underneath and I'm going to bring it up like that. Just kind of like coning it in a little bit. Because I'm going to make another muck. Cleaning the muck off my fingers. Just making it slippery. Slippery and wet. <laughs> That's what she says. Uh huh. So I'm sticking my fingers inside the hole. 
Yeah. Right? There you are I'm with gonna, those innuendos again. Thanks for laughing. For goodness sake. So, now I've got this wedge, and I'm going to lift it and stretch it. Right, that's what she said too. For goodness sake. How foul it can it get? Oh, God. Whew. So little... sometimes it gets dry on the inside the hole, and you gotta just just make it just slippery. Preaptic, man. You are very preaptic. Uh huh. <laughs> preaptic. Yeah. Um, what is that word? Fa phallic in nature, or referring to phallic propensities. Uh -huh. <laughs> Trying to get the rest of it off the bottom. Wow, that's that's way cool, Kevin. Just like you that. definitely know what you're fucking doing. All right. Oh. But I learned a lot whenever that one you did at the art fair last weekend, when you caused that one to collapse, it was a bigger thing, and and you then you told me that you caused it to collapse on purpose. I learned more about what you were doing from the collapse of it than the creation of whatever it was. It's an art form for for sure. Just trying to give it a little panache. It's coming out a little bit too far. Phallic panache. Or something. <laughs> there. Just flare it out. Just now I always want to make sure the lip is nice and smooth. By your lip balm. Thanks for laughing. Mm hmm. Bert's Bees. Did you ever hear about hear the joke about, um, am I allowed to tell dirty jokes? <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know if there's anybody watching. It doesn't look well. Never mind. Forget the dirty joke, folks. I can't tell if anybody's. If anybody wants to tune not. in from Argentina to hear one of this oh. Illinois boy's dirty jokes, you're welcome to, but Thanks for I don't that. want to offend the host here. Well, is it... He's concentrating deeply. Uh -huh. So what's the joke? The chief, who was a virgin, who decided to break his virginity, he went to the madam at the whorehouse and he said, he says, I need experience. She says, well, you got money? He goes, yeah, I got money, but no experience. She says, well, you're going to have to come back when you got some experience. He goes, I can do that. He says, what do you mean? She said, go practice sticking it into something with a hole. Then you'll have experience. Oh. She said, it can be anything, a pine knot or whatever. He goes, okay, I think I can do that. Well, he comes back and he gets one of the girls and he says, madam, I'm, I got experience and money now. And she says, okay, down the hall. And he says, okay, I'm right with you. She leaves him off in the room and says, you know, you behave yourself, chief. And he goes, I will. And when she was like five feet away from the door, he hear, she hears this complete screaming of the girl. And she rushes back into the room. She says, chief, what are you doing with that two by four? He says, me check him for bees. Ed McMahon would be jealous of me right now. Oh. <laughs> he sighs, folks. Did you hear that? He uh. sighs. At least he had money. Oh. <laughs> Usually I... Anyway. Oh. I'm not in charge. Well, nobody's requiring a joke from you because you're all concentration. I see that. Yeah. Me. Well... Real professional for you. That's a very nice. I don't know. Is that a an urn for ashes or a, a piss jar or what? It's, huh. You're not ready for the joke about the spittoon. I know that. Oh. Oh Pre-epic. Ribbed for her pleasure. <laughs> well, 
one miracle at a time. Right. See, it's just take my middle finger like that and just stick it in and pull it out. Too wet. Well, at least not wise if it sprays everywhere, yes. I feel a like foreign. There it is. Right there. That See, was the tea and the bentonite, huh? My uh, delicate, uh, sensitive fingers can just... Huh. It's like the princess and the pea, you know? Yeah, that's actually quite a good story. It's the ledge. There's the magic is when, yeah, that's fucking great, man. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It's mm -hmm. magic. No, it's, it's, it's truly awesome. I'm just saying, I dig it. I don't know. I, I could, it would take me a lot of years to get the art of that down. Sometimes, like I said, sometimes with recycled clay, there's little imperfections in the clay. Shape of air. I won't flare out too much of it. So we won't have to call you Lippy? That's just the way to release it from the wheel, right? Oh, no, this is just some extra clay. I'll put that in another thing. Oh, it's not, not, it's yeah. not unattached Take yet. Take my sponge on the end of the stick. Because huh. there's a little bit of extra water in there, I'm going to stick it in the hole and wipe up all the wet goo on the inside. Thanks for laughing. It's all the same when you wipe it off, isn't it? Yeah. I don't know. Can I get the goo off? <laughs> It's everywhere. That's what she said. Uh, thanks for laughing. All right. Yeah, that's the part I don't get. I don't. I don't think I get what you're doing there. Well, that's okay though. I was just scraping off the. So I'll just come You've been off. at this how long? Whoopsies. You've been doing this for how many years? Oh, a lot of years. Uh, I started in 1973. Before you had any gray hair. Oh. A couple years before anyway, right? Well, <laughs> pretty much just not too much longer after I started growing hair on my balls. Huh. Thanks for laughing. Wow. So it's been a while. That was supposed to be fun. Uh, a lot of guys shaved that off at her insistence, but oh. I always refused. It's like, come on, bitch. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe I'll just do one more, and then I'll try and move the camera over there, and I'll 
uh, put on a couple of handles. There's some mugs Those I, look I turned dis over. dissimilar oh, and yet similar. I mean, that's there's kind of a beauty to that. It's um, unity and diversity. That's me. Really? Shelf. Unity and diversity. I know a big contradiction because. <sighs> Like, like Walt Whitman said, we are a whole bunch of our ancestors. Like I said, sometimes it's easier to center with my eyes closed. Much like what a drummer does there. when he closes his eyes just to keep the beat. See? It's like something focused. See? That's uh, some air bubbles and crud. Uh -huh. You see the green? And yeah, so that's, I do. I do. That's why I need to do this a couple of times to try and work that. Nice. Out of the clay. Whoa! <laughs> See, it's getting a little smoother. I think that last time I pushed it down, I don't, I don't, bleh, I don't know if you heard it go. Was, I did, I did hear that. That was the air bubble coming out. I pop the goo and the muck off my hands with the magic sponge. When we were in Roatan, Honduras, did you ever have a desire or did you ever go under the water, like scuba diving or whatever? I I didn't. Jumped in I was scared to the, the water one time and I dove underneath the water and I tasted right. the salt water in my mouth. Yeah, right, right, right. I'm like, okay, I'm wet. I, I give great reverence to the deep marine, especially when there's that kind of coral underneath. Hey, that, I'm, that, uh, uh, semi, uh, yellow submarine that's semi-submersible. Right? I loved yeah, it. That, that was pretty cool. I missed the turtle everybody else saw but me. So actually, <laughs> if you go to my YouTube channel and you go way back um, to like February or March, there's a 30 minute long video of when we were... And, uh, and you it, you caught the Tortuga on the video? I think so. I I would like to see that myself. I, I haven't seen that it's yet. It's long. It's thirty minutes long, but it's. I missed cool. it by that much. Like, like Max. When are you ever going to go to a coral reef again? I, mean, I don't know. If I ever get to Australia, I'll see the biggest one. But that's the second biggest one besides the Great Barrier Reef. Just like that. Okay. There's a wedge. Yeah, now Remember how I brought that up and down a couple of times and you said how how cruddy it was? And you heard now look at it. It's oh well, there's one little air bubble there, but for the most part. It's, it's all about the amount of oxygen that's in all parts of it at any one given time, isn't it? Huh? Yep, yeah, that you said it. Love is like oxygen. You, you, you get too much, you get too high, and not enough. Not enough, and you're, you're gonna, gonna die. die. <laughs> Love gets you high. So, who did that one, Mister Encyclopedic Knowledge? What the song? Yeah. 
I don't remember. I really, I usually, I huh. usually know, but I don't remember who did that well, one. No details. Right? Uh, it's just all rock trivia fun. Work there, man. That's great. Another. Looks like it. I usually just leave the scars. this nine inch scar on my gut, there probably wouldn't be much slinger pottery. Huh. That's because you'd be dead, maybe. Like Garfield says, try not to think about your intestines being 38 feet long. <laughs> <laughs> So there. The discoloration of the, the, the wheel, I mean, the palette itself, that is really an amazing thing to me. I, I, don't, I don't know if I couldn't explain why that caused, what causes that. What's that? The changing of the color of the palette. It just gets wet. On the wheel, it's just wet. Yeah, so for that one, got, got a it. Bit of got it, got it. <clears throat> so. Now. No wonder you got so many of those things around. Those fr I thought they were frisbees. <laughs> so now I'm going to do some really magic uh, camera work. Thanks for laughing. And point the camera that way. And we'll put on a couple of handles. Two or three. Your handle is Captain. Thanks for laughing. Right? Okay. This guy also does paintings, folks. All of you folks from Argentina watching. Yeah. Well. Trying to get the right. Oh, well, let's hope that works. One miracle at a time. And uh, maybe adjust the lights a little bit. So there. So, similar to the mug we just made, trimmed it yesterday. Already uh, rolled these out. Nice little log. Look at that. You're on a roll. Thanks for laughing. I'm gonna take my scratchy thing. Just scratch it just a little bit. Little scratches. Just enough for it to grab. I take my slip here, this goop. I just want to get it gooey and wet. So now I've got this roll of clay pre-made. I'm going to take it and I'm going to slap it. Oh, just like that. Slap it down. Just like that. So it kind of makes it oval. Okay. So now I just want to take this and I'm going to support it with my finger. Stick my finger on the inside. And I want to take this log and just stick it on there. Oh, just like that. 
So now I've got this hard clay stuck on there in a second. Now I'm going to make a handle out of it. So what I do is I'm going to just let it drop down like that. Okay? And it's He's back to his preaptic stick it in the water. And I'm going to get it nice and wet. And I want to just get my hand nice and wet. And just wrap it. And I just want to stroke it. Stroke, stroke. Right, right. It's got to be wet. You're, you're a slippery. normal American male then. Just stroke, stroke. <laughs> just, and you just, not, not too hard, but just enough to feel it stretch and get long. Yeah. Just like that. See? You have to have a well, I'm, touch. I'm proud of my three inches in diameter. Ooh. <laughs> so I just hold it like that. Here's my, just wrap it around and stick uh, with it a on little there. curve. A little, yeah, that beautifully done. That was nicely executed, man. Wow. There. That's a wow. Just, that's that's a wrap. Just like that. That was. That, that was is what I am talking cool. about. Do you that, know what I mean? That that was cool. I enjoy. I don't think I've ever seen that done. I'm really something. There's something else. All right. So, we got two more of these nice logs prepared. They're just nice and st stiff. They don't nice hurt. logs, people. Nice and stiff. Uh huh. Well, I don't know what else you want to call them. Nope. They they are. They are what they are. And they're not quite leather hard, but they're hard, just hard enough. So. There you have it. Thanks for laughing. I just want to get the wet goo and just slap it on the scratchy part where you scratched it before. I just want to put some of this. Is the wet, wet glue, it, it's also just clay. It, it, it it's helps just it clay adhere. particles in water. It's just yeah. really, really wet goo. And I just well, want to slap it like that. And just take it. Just Mizak. Slap. I just want to, oh, just like that. Just a little bit. Not too much. Huh. There. Just like that. I'm going to take the end of it. I want to make sure it gets really good and stick. 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 There. It's got a stick. Thanks for laughing. Yes, indeed. <laughs> yes, indeed. All right. Now I'm going to step, dip it in the now water. I'm going to get the noodle there. wet now. I'm just stroke it. Stroke it. Stroke it. Stroke it. Take my thumb and I can... Yeah. I'm just gonna give it a little shake, see? Just like that. Yeah, stroke. Not so too with hard. a little bit of emphasis on in the center, so that it has that bit of groove. Yeah, it's groovy. Yeah, 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 it's groovy, man. Yeah. Are we still allowed to say words like groovy? Yeah. Okay. It's a fact. At least in your shop we can, right? Yeah. Right. <laughs> there, so I want to get the the muck, all the wetness off of my hand. Yeah, yeah. Because it's got all when I'm pulling my handle like that, like my hand. Gets That's a hell of a handle. Now I'm going to tilt it just a little bit. I'm just going to take the tip of it and bring it off. Curve it right on in there. I almost pulled the handle right off. Wow. No wonder you make sales. Oh, I, no wonder you make sales, Soupy. Uh, I, 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 I haven't sailed. Huh. No, I mean, we rented a pontoon the other, you know. And we went on the yellow submarine, too. But We just talked about that. That's kind of complicated. So, what you just did at the bottom there, yeah, good, good call. There. Just like that. Just, it's by rote experience, you know just what to do. You, you don't even have to think about it, do you? Your hands know what to do, huh? It's, it's, yeah. uh, it's just... It's amazing. It starts with the brain, it ends with the hands. And, and the phallus. Well, if you can't laugh at life, <laughs> this bus ride. You, if you bus. lose the laughter, you're going to lose half of the battle. Thanks for laughing. Yeah? You're welcome. Just a little scratch. A little scratch, scratch. You take the wet, sloppy goo and just dip it on there and get it wet. Get it wet. Don't be shy. Honey, you... That sloppy goo on there. Yeah. Just like life. Sloppy goo. There we go. Just a little slap. Sloppy there. goo, cuckoo cachoo. Just a little slap. Just 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 enough to make it 
Oval. Yeah. I am the walrus. Oh! Yeah. Okay. Good. Gotta get it on there. Yeah. Do you know that a polar bear oh. can't kill a, wal a walrus? Is that right? Yeah, a polar bear. Where's that? They're badass. Go? They can't take out one of them big walruses. No. I'm sorry. They're just my bite. So there. Get some hands. Yeah. Made a couple of mugs. Just like that. You don't struggle with the idea of uh, being a potter. You don't struggle with the idea of the concept of same difference, do you? Everyone is unique, but they're the same. Same difference. Well, I like to say embrace the beauty of imperfection. I know, right? And one time I was, uh, I met uh, Warren McKenzie. He was trying to correct me. And yeah, said, I heard, I've heard of him. Embrace, he, he was saying uh, embrace uh, the beauty of irregularity. Yes. And I, and so, but I, but you got digestion I, issues. I, I so. think of Kirsten Wig pretending she's uh, Jamie Lee Curtis doing an activity commercial on Saturday Night Live. Oh, she really cracks me up. So, yeah, she's the, the, the camera. Wig are you okay? Tears me up. No, I pulled my pants. <laughs> uh, so, it's uh, embrace the beauty of imperfection because, you know. I think Kristen could embrace that also. So. There, we have a couple of mugs, and I'm going to go around this way, and we uh, put some handles on some stuff. I hope you uh, liked watching the show. Right we'll on. See you. Peace. See you next time. Peace. Uh, yeah, yeah, peace, and peace. make a stranger smile. It's free. It doesn't cost anything. Make a cop smile.